Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. guys, it's Alma. Welcome back. So, Soleil Water, I'm finally doing it, guys. Why today? Because I decided, along with my June challenge, I'm kind of doing a bit of a reboot, right? Just to get my keto revved up and myself in optimal summer fitness. Well, fitness. This is never going to be fit. <laughs> this is going to be as fit as it can. It's never going to be, like, fit. But, it's a work in progress. So anyway, guys, I figured it'd be a great time to get everything revved up. To get Soleil water, guys. It's been around forever. It's not a new kick. It's not a new keto thing. So let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the benefits. First of all, what is pink salt? Salt, Himalayan salt. It is trace minerals, guys. It's simple as that, trace minerals. And in fact, it's an incredible amount of trace minerals over 80 as a matter of fact and some of the key ones that we need for our ketogenic lifestyle are the magnesium the potassium and the iron uh, iron is specifically good for me simply because i've always been iron deficient and i will tell you that my last blood work whoop, was iron deficient and i really think it's because i changed the way that i eat I'm not eating junk food. I'm really not eating a lot of processed food other than my occasional hot dog weenies here. But guys, it's hot dog weenies. I know, switch to Nathan's. I know, that's the plan. So the trace minerals, what do they do? They help keep your body hydrated. Simple as that, guys. And with keto, in the ketogenic way of eating, the body doesn't have as much insulin in it. And because of that, it rids the body of a lot of excess fluid. I think if you can recall back to the first week that you did keto, you were like, I am a peeing machine. What is going on here? So your body was doing what it should do and it's releasing itself of, of unnecessary fluids. But what does that mean? You need to replenish your body. You need to keep your body hydrated. And if you don't, that's why a lot of people get the keto flu. That's why a lot of people get those horrible headaches. And Soleil water can help you with that. When you do your Soleil water, what it's doing is really detoxifying your body. And by detoxifying your body, it kind of helps normalize your pH balance. <laughs> For me, you've heard me talk about my thyroid disorder. And so it kind of doesn't make sense, other than the fact that I use this in my cooking. Uh, it doesn't make sense that I really had not done this before because it really helps support your adrenal function, which David feels like it has really assisted him with that. And for me, thyroid function. It really helps normalize your thyroid function. So while I'm on my June challenge and I'm ridding myself of my sugar alcohols and my artificial sweeteners and test my blood sugars, and you saw in the past my blood sugars are a little high right now, not really sure why, but who knows, maybe this will help regulate my blood sugars. All right guys, so let's go ahead and talk about making Soleil water. All right, so very, very simple guys. All right, Himalayan salt, water, purified water, not your tap water, and a vessel. Vessel, preferably guys, glass. So I made it yesterday. Let's take a look at my Soleil water. All right, guys, here it is. You see it? This is what you want it to look like. Do you see how clear it is? And do you see this sediment at the bottom? The salt. After you mix it, guys, if you pick up your jar and there is no salt at the bottom, that means it's not fully saturated. That means it still needs more salt to make this an official Soleil water, all right? If there's any sediment on the bottom after 24 hours, you're good to go, guys. You're really good to go. Right. If there's no sediment at the bottom, you're gonna add some more Himalayan salt. You know, put in another, I don't know, eighth of a cup. You saw how I made mine. You see how large this is. You saw how much I used, about an inch worth, and then the rest of this bottle. So guys, if it did not have sediment and you're having to add additional salt, you need to wait another 24 hours. And at that point in time, after the 24 hours is complete and there's sediment at the bottom, you know you're good to go. You got your fully functional Soleil water, right? You take it, you mix it up, all right? Looks like grapefruit juice now. Guys, then you're gonna open up your container and it might be kind of hard because there's some salt crystals that have formed along here from shaking it up. Now keep in mind guys, your lid needs to be plastic and so does your measuring utensil. No metal, all right? And then you're just gonna take about a tablespoon some people do upwards of three and four tablespoons a day. Um, I'm probably gonna stick to about two tablespoons a day. Um, once in the morning and maybe once in the afternoon. And then you're just gonna put it in your cup. And some people say to drink it with up to 16 ounces of water. I'm thinking I wanna just kinda get it done with. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Oh! 
bit salty, guys. Whoa! Wasn't terrible, but I don't think it's going to become a favorite cocktail of mine. However, if it helps support my thyroid, if it gets my blood sugars under control, I'm, I'm game. When you put your lid back on, make sure it's nice and snug. Um, it is salt, which means it will evaporate if you don't have it nice and secure. So lay water, guys. I hope you give it a try. Up next, guys, is a demo. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. All right, what you need is a glass or plastic jar with a plastic lid. You don't want metal, guys. And then you have your Himalayan salt, your pure Himalayan salt and filtered water. I've got my purified bottle of water. I'm gonna fill up your container a quarter way through with your Himalayan salt and then fill the top with water and give it a good shake and then just let it absorb. So we're gonna do that and then look at it tomorrow and determine if we need to add some more. Guys, right, so again, this was purchased at Dollar Tree, plastic lid, $1. And here's my pink Himalayan sea salt. Let's go ahead and pour that in. So here's our salt, guys. And next comes the water. We're gonna give this a little shake and then we'll check on it tomorrow. All right guys, here it is. You see it? This is what you want it to look like. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.